Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Redemption, people. Redemption. Manchester United 4, Real Betis 1. United bounce back from that heavy defeat to Liverpool in style. But to all, just confirm our place in the next round. I don't think, I don't think Real Betis now are actually going to score more than three goals. To, to get back into this tie. I think the tie is completely over now. Rashford gave Manchester United the lead after just six minutes in, but missed, uh, missed a, a lot of chances. I think we missed a lot of chances in that first half. Uh, but Real Betis, of course, equalized through I always uh, pairs. I always pairs on the 32 minutes. Uh, unlike on Sunday, though, unlike on Sunday, uh, the halftime talk definitely has worked out in this match because after the second half, United just got really back and they got really strong. I think Eric Ten Hag made changes tactically uh, and Anthony scored a stunning goal in the 52 minutes and then Bruno Fernandes sealed it uh, in the 58 minutes with a, with a very nice <clears throat> header. We having missed a series of chances earlier on in the game, Vekos finally, finally got on the score sheet. This guy, I was complaining about him missing a lot of chances. He missed two or three chances in the first half. But finally, as you can see, finally he gets a tap in. It was a, a McTominay shot. The goalkeeper saves it. He puts it on the play for Vekos. And Vekos puts that ball in and make this game 4-1. But all in all, look, I mean, the performance is solid. The performance is solid. The back four was solid. I thought we defended really well. Uh, Eric Ten Hag had to make a change on that right back position, similar to what he did in the final against Newcastle. He took out Dallas and put Juan Basaka in. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought we would start. I thought we would start Juan Basaka given the performance we've seen from Dallas, but he chose to start Dallas and he didn't like it. Obviously, he didn't like it. He had to make a change. Uh, right in the second half and it paid well for him it paid well for him but yet again Veko starts in this match I know he scored it's great that he scored um, may this continue may this continue but I did not like the fact that Veko actually started this match to be honest with you again struggled uh, from the start from the from the minute one Vegos was just struggling in terms of like finishing up chances or creating chances. I missed two, three clicker chances. Uh, but hopefully, like I said, hopefully this this goal gives him the confidence to move on and may this continue and may he score more goals in the coming weeks and month. But uh, looking at the entire team, I think the team did really well. Every single player I thought did really well. Uh, like I said, the back four was good. Um, in the middle of the park, Fred huffed and puffed in the first half, but Casemiro was solid for me. Uh, the front four, like I said, Bruno was good. Um, Rashford was good in this game. Um, I thought Pelstry, Pelstry, I thought Pelstry made a huge difference when he came on. I know he came on when the game was 3-1. I think it was 3-1. When the game is 3-1, yeah. He came on and made a difference immediately. Him and Sancho came in and made a lot of uh, difference. They gave a, a different dynamics to that front line. And Raul Betis just did not know what to do with them. And that's how we managed to score four. We could have we could have scored five or six, to be honest with you. We could have actually scored five or six in this match. Uh <clears throat> I did remember one thing that David De Gea did in this game. David De Gea did mess up one time in the first half. He's gotten away with it. He got away with it, but it was just a bad pass uh, to Real Betis player. And Real Betis took that ball and they just had an attempt. And somehow it goes over David De Gea and hits the ball, uh, hits, hits the post and go out. That was really, really lucky. I think we got away with that one. It could have made it to one and it could have made... The entire atmosphere and the entire Old Trafford just nervous if that if that gone in. But thankfully, I mean, thankfully that did not go in, and we did bounce back. We did bounce back in the second half. 
Uh, man of the match. Who should I give it to? I think man of the match, I would have to give it to um, Bruno Fernandes. I'll give it to Bruno Fernandes. I think he's he's gotten a lot of criticism on that Liverpool matchup. I thought he was targeted. I thought he was targeted by the British media. A lot of them, uh, the likes of Gary Neville, they just targeted him. But it's not his fault. It's not his fault, uh, the fact that he's playing out of position. Even tonight, he was he started a game off on the left. It's not his fault that you're putting him all sort of positions. He needs to be playing as a number 10. Put him in his best position, and he will deliver, in my opinion. And tonight, I'm really, really glad, and I'm really, really happy for the lad that he actually scored a goal to shut some, some people up, to shut some people up. Of course, we're not going to finish we're not going to finish without talking about Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford, yet again, yet again, astonishing finish in that first goal. Have you watched that first goal? Look at that. I mean, that hit was magnificent. We've, we've, we've scored a lot of good goals today. I just don't know which one to pick. But do let me know in the comment section which goal was actually your favorite goal. But I just don't know which one to pick because... Uh, Anthony's goal was outstanding. Uh, Rashford's goal was outstanding. And Bruno's header as well was a decent one. I think <clears throat> we scored a lot of good goals. And this is this is the way to bounce back, people. This is the way to bounce back. We needed to bounce back from that defeat against Liverpool after conceding seven goals and not scoring a single goal. We needed to bounce back today. And, uh, and we did. Um, uh, and now we move on. You move on. We are rolling to the next one. Uh, I do feel like we've uh, we've qualified now. I don't see Real Betis scoring four goals against us in the second leg. We should rest some players now for the second leg, and uh, we should be fine. We should be fine for the second uh, for for the, for the next round. But we'll see. Arsenal have drawn their game. Roma have won. Juventus have won. So most likely those are the opponents that we might be facing. And those are the uh, difficult opponents that we might be facing. But we don't care. Bring anybody on. Bring anybody on. But look, I'm happy that we won this game comfortably. But let's see in the weekend. We need to put another statement against Southampton in the weekend. But that is it, people. That has been my match reaction. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. And make sure you let me know uh, which goal was actually your favorite goal. As well as who was your man of the match. Do let me know in the comment sections. But yeah, people. I am out. Thanks for watching. Peace.